I'm Ryan Shee. I grew up in Wild County from a long line of cattle ranchers. Uh, when I was in high school, I knew I wanted to leave the county and, and try something else. And I did that through the Marine Corps. I spent 20 years in the Marine Corps, mostly as a pilot, and ended up commanding a squadron of Tilt aircraft before I retired. And when I retired, I was trying to think about what I wanted to do next. It was a really good opportunity to restart. It was almost like I'd graduated high school over, all over again, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And, and I thought about where I wanted to live, where I wanted my kids to live, and whether or not I should wait till I was retired to finally move there. And I just decided that my wife and I decided we'd, we'd make the leap and come home to the area I grew up in and, and uh, be closer to nature and, and to the things I liked as a kid. And once I got here, I started working with a local company and found a niche, a new market in, in solar that I hadn't even known existed before and I pursued it. And now I've started a company, Fleet Development Incorporated. We connect low-income tenants with and housing with renewable energy, particularly solar. And we're doing that here in Oregon and through several states throughout the nation. Yeah. So when I first heard of the idea and concept behind Salmon Nation and, and Ravens, it, it really sunk in with me. I compare it to, similar to my time in the Marine Corps, where you take people from all walks of life around the country, urban, rural, all different colors, and you bring them together and, and they want to they want to become part of something bigger than themselves and something that's urgent and i think that's part of the the idea behind this and why it'll work uh, as far as the leadership in that or the the people to help make it bigger the the raven concept i, I understand that as well it makes a lot of sense i i really think that for what we need to get done in the world right now and with the upcoming generations this is an idea that really captures that.